Hey guys, my name is Michelle and today we will be going over the steps to add cells to your existing website or blog. We will go over how to use the cells WordPress plugin and how to use the buttons and widgets embed editor to add a bit of code to a Squarespace, Wix, and Weebly site. As long as your site or blog contains a text, HTML, or a code block, you'll be able to add one of our buttons, widgets, or an entire store directly to your site by just copying a little bit of code. We will begin by using the WordPress Cells plugin. This demo is for those of you who are using a self-hosted version of WordPress and not a free WordPress.com site. We do have some support articles that also go over the steps for the free site as well at cells.com support. So you can check that out if you're using a free WordPress.com site. So uh, what we're going to do is go on over to WordPress, install the plugin in WordPress by going to the plugin section and searching for cells. Once you have the cells plugin installed, you're just going to want to activate the plugin and then click on the cells button in your visual editor uh, that will pop up whenever you're editing a page or a post. You can add buttons, widgets, or an entire store to pages and posts throughout your WordPress site. So what you'll do is click on the cells button and choose if you'd like to add a buy now button or a widget and the widget and buy now button are a little bit different. The widget includes product descriptions and images for your products. And you also have the option to embed in your entire store. So all of your products would show up and customers could look at them and add them to their cart and continue shopping all through your WordPress site. And sales is just kind of in the background at that point. If you're adding a widget, what you'll do is add the link to your item by going to your sales dashboard and grabbing the link. So you go to items all and click on share and short link and then hit copy. Now back in WordPress, you'll choose the button style or any if you want any payment logos to show up, then pick out which style of buyer interaction you would like. You can choose overlay if you want your buyers to stay on the page to make the purchase, or you can allow them to be taken to a new tab. Uh, overlay is my preferred style. Then go ahead and choose your button colors and click on add short code. And there it is. To embed your whole store, add your store URL. If you're not sure what your URL is, go back to your sales dashboard, click on store settings and domain, and then copy the link there. Uh, same deal with the store, make your color choices, and then add the short code. And once that's all done, you just hit update, preview, so that you can take a look at it. You won't be able to preview what the buttons, widgets, or store looks like while you're still in edit mode within WordPress. And uh, like I said before, just keep in mind, this is for hosted versions of WordPress. You won't be able to embed buttons into a free WordPress.com site using this method. The second way to embed buttons, widgets, or a store into your site is by copying a small amount of code. Uh, don't be alarmed by that. It's actually a very simple process. So 
First, you're gonna to wanna to copy the button code for your sales item. And to do this, we're gonna to go to the buttons and widgets tab from the main menu uh, on your sales dashboard. Here we have the embed editor. You can go through and customize the look of your buttons and widgets, and you can also make adjustments to colors, behavior, size, and more with this editor. We also have a helpful video for you to watch the first time you log in, and if you ever want to access that video again, just click on the little chat icon and watch it. So for most sites, you will need to make your changes, and once you're happy with the look of your button or widget, click copy on the right to copy the code to your clipboard. Go back to Squarespace. And then we're gonna add a code content block to our Squarespace page. And this is gonna allow you to enter HTML directly into your page. We will paste the code here and click apply. At this stage, you won't be able to preview the cells button due to Squarespace's restrictions on embedded code. So all you have to do is just sign out of Squarespace to see the sales button, or you can also click to preview in safe mode. And there it is. The same process applies to widgets and an entire store. So let me just paste in the code for store as well so you can get the full picture. And there you have it. Okay, moving along to Wix. The process is very similar for a Wix website. The menu on the left, we're gonna click on add, which is just this little plus symbol here, and then click on more and on the HTML code. So a box is going to show up here for you to paste your code into. The main difference is that Wix requires you to add a couple of tags to your code. So we just have to add a div tag before and after, just like this. It's very simple. And once again, if you have questions about how to do this with Wix or it's just not showing up, reach out to our CS team. They're happy to help. If you don't add this tag to your code, the button or widget will not be visible. And once you do this, your widget will appear and you'll just need to drag the edges of the box to accommodate the widget size. If you are displaying the purchase process in an overlay, you will need to account for the size of the overlay window when adjusting the widget size as well. Just publish your page and you're done. I just want to add one more block so you can really get the hang of it. Same process, just drag over the HTML block. Move it around to where you like. Go back to the Buttons and Widgets tab in Cells and copy the code. Don't forget to add your div tags. This is what it looks like if you forget to add them.
hit publish or preview and there's your widget. Okay, next up we have Weebly. This is the last one we're going over today. So here we're just gonna drag over the embed code content block wherever you wanna add buttons and widgets, like this. Just paste the code in as it is, no need to add any extra tags. And that's it. Super simple. Let's add a widget going through the same process. There it is. Let's add one last button too. Same process and you can also adjust the position in Weebly to center your embeds. And you're done. Uh, if you need any extra help, as always, send us an email or a live chat with us 24 seven using that little purple bubble in the bottom right of your screen whenever you're signed into your sales account. I think you guys are all well on your way to a beautiful and easy to use store. I hope that you feel more confident in the process of embedding buttons, widgets, and store to your site. Thanks so much and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye guys.